Hello, hello, hello. What's up, my people? It's another edition of Victor Isiba Reviews. First timers to this YouTube channel, I want to welcome you to the family. On this YouTube channel, what we do is helping you with due diligence, with make money online and offline opportunities. If stuff like this is what brings you to YouTube, I want to invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn on the bell notification icon, put it on all so that you don't miss my subsequent videos. <laughs> and to my returning subscribers and viewers, salute. It's a pleasure having you back on this YouTube channel. Disclaimer, I am not an investment advisor. I just have a knack. I just have a gift for analyzing things and doing risk analysis and helping people to make better decisions before they bring out their wallets. So I shall not be responsible for any profits you make or any losses you incur as a result of you interacting with my content. Now that we've gotten that disclaimer out of the way, today we are going to be reviewing Quantum Exchange. This is a new make money online opportunity. They are just like an exchange like your Binance, like your OKX, but they are just starting out. And we are going to interact with the presentation slide. And at the end of the video, in typical fashion, I'll give you my counterpunch and that is why you're here so very quickly the website is qte.1 okay the said quantum exchange brings you one of the most rewarding experiences in the industry you earn five percent trading reward on your qte usdt trade volume for one complete trade you earn 30 percent referral commissions on your team's monthly trading reward activation fees you earn 15 percent commissions on your team's trading rewards register now 100 percent free okay now let's keep going you have to complete your kyc then you deposit your crypto assets into the quantum exchange crypto accounts there is a, a TRC20 USDT address that they put there. And, you know, this trading website or exchange involves that you pay a monthly subscription. Okay. See, they said QTE reward activation. Two ways a trader participates in the QTE USDT rewards. A monthly trading reward activation fee of 350 USDT. You deposit it into their TRC wallet. This activates the trader's account to earn trading rewards on QTE uh, USDT trading. Okay, uh, it requires a minimum buy and sell order of 650 USDT. That means for this particular uh, trading account, you need a thousand USDT. 350 activation, then 650 trading. 30% referral bonus on activation fees paid to the affiliates only on level 1, then 50% affiliate commissions on trading rewards paid on level 1. Number 2, monthly trading reward activation of 100 USDT. And of course, you activate a trading amount of 100 USDT up to 300 USDT, okay? Uh, for every 300 USDT trading volume requires activation fee of 100 USDT. So this one you're looking at maybe $400 to interact with this one. Uh, if you want to be trading up to 300 USDT, you need monthly activation of 100 USDT. And now here is the compensation plan. Four levels deep, you earn 25% on level 1, 10% on level 2, 10% on level 3, then level 5 is 4%. Okay, and um, they have, uh, you know, tables showing you what the reward system is all about. Just bear in mind that you earn 5% uh, daily uh, trading rewards. Okay, and um, you can take a look at all this, you know, affiliate commission, 15%, yadi yadi yadi. They're breaking it down so that you'll be attracted. And now let's look at a, a breakdown. A total breakdown important notes as they call it okay they said trading rewards are paid after 24 hour daily trading period in your crypto asset wallets so it's technically five percent rewards per day they said no withdrawals will be made during the trading and after the trading until the day's commissions are paid in order to keep the qte price growth healthy the participating traders must fulfill the following they are giving you conditions now hmm? 
In between the time the trader's rewards are paid and the time the trader starts the next trading session, the trader's QTE balance must never fall below 70% of the total QTE balance in the trader's wallet. If the trader's wallet balance during this time falls below 70%, the trading reward account immediately becomes inactive. If a trader wishes to continue to participate in the trading rewards, then the trader has to reactivate their account by paying 350 USDT plus 12.5% or 100 USDT plus 12.5% of the trader's lifetime total accumulated account balance. Reactivation fee should be paid in USDT. That is the end of the presentation slide. And here you will have my counterpunch. My counterpunch is not going to tell you, oh, it is legitimate. Oh, it's not legitimate. I'm just going to lead you there. Hmm? I will lead you there and you are the one that you are going to use your tongue to count your teeth. I cannot come and be using my own tongue to count your teeth. I don't know if you have brushed today. It's not healthy. Now, basically, let me give you a summary of what this is all about. Okay? This is a crypto exchange who has a native token, internal token, that they call the QTE token. Now, what they do is they collect your USDT by monthly activation, 350 USDT, then trading of 650 USDT or the 100 USDT uh, option. They collect your USDT, legitimate money, and they give you QTE tokens in return. You're using something valuable, something legitimate to buy worthless tokens. Why do you say that QTE token is worthless, Victor? What effrontery? You just talk anyhow. What's wrong with you? Sorry, sir. Sorry, ma. I think it is worthless. Why? Because it's not tradable on any exchanges. It is not recognized anywhere. CoinMarketCap doesn't know this coin. CoinGecko doesn't know this coin. We do not know the price. Yes, it is only relevant on Quantum Exchange. Exchange. It is only relevant on Quantum Exchange because it is their own. It is their token. That's why it is. That's why it is relevant there. No other person anywhere thinks that that coin has any value. Fluctuations of crypto assets are the reason why you see price of crypto assets going up and coming down. And this going up and coming down is the reason why you can make money from crypto because the price is not stable. So, what causes crypto assets to fluctuate? Fluctuations of crypto tokens are brought about by market forces of demand and supply demand supply okay when the demand is higher than the supply the price goes up up it goes what up when the supply is greater than the demand the price does what comes down so the fluctuations by the market forces of demand and supply is what tells us what the price is now how come qte token is giving us five percent daily profit when it is not tradable anywhere and there are no fluctuations. Fluctuation is only as a result of demand and supply. There are no fluctuations anywhere. So, where are they seeing the 5% that they are paying daily? Well, that's a question that I want, I want to try to answer this question for quantum exchange loyalists. Um, the only logical answer to this is that the developers behind QTE, they give artificial artificial appreciation to the coin on a daily basis that's why you see they are paying five percent daily five percent fixed daily something is fluctuating that means it should fluctuate down sometimes and up sometimes but this one is always fluctuating up at five percent every day which tells you that it is artificial fluctuation so the developers give you five percent artificial increase on a daily basis now, the next question is, Victor, if this thing that you are saying is true, so how come people are able to withdraw that 5% profit since it is artificial? If you ask me that question, then I'll show you this thing I just highlighted on your screen now. A four-level compensation plan paying 25% for first level, 10% for second level, 10% for third level, and 5% for fourth level would make anybody 
to be motivated, to be gingered, to do what? Spread the word. And when you spread the word, the people you spread the word to, what are they bringing to the table? They are bringing legitimate hard-end Bitcoin and USDT. What are they using the USDT to buy? They will use it to buy your QTE tokens liability from you. So you have an internal market where people bring in valuable money to buy invaluable tokens in return. So you are the one who is monetizing this whole quantum exchange thing. Now the QTE token, the only use case they have is this buying and selling because of 5% daily returns promise. Now people have Ethereum in their wallets. They have Bitcoin in their wallet because these crypto tokens have use cases. The use case of Bitcoin and Ethereum is not tied to one particular exchange that is paying so so and so percent. Nobody that is outside quantum exchange will come and buy the QTE token, for instance, because it's useless to them. If I'm not interested in your 5% daily, why should I buy? So, you guys are the ones helping quantum exchange. They want to use you to popularize their coin. And this is not even an ICO, initial coin offer. This is just a coin and an exchange that is tied to a promise, an artificial promise of 5% daily returns. Okay? So now, somebody is asking again, if this thing you're saying is true, that they need new people to bring in USDT to be able to offer liquidity to people who are holding valueless QTE token, that means there must be delay in withdrawal. Oh, yes. Victor, you can't convince me otherwise. There must be delay in withdrawal if we are having to wait for newer people. Let me tell you, you saw it yourself. Let me show you. Look at this. Look at this that they highlighted here. When they say your balance must not fall below 70%, okay, in between the traders' rewards are paid and the time of the next trade, your balance must not fall below 70%. What they are just trying to tell you is don't withdraw. Eh, they should just summarize it and just go straight to the point. Please don't withdraw. Uh -huh. They are telling you not to withdraw. Why? Because they know that you need newer people coming into the system mm, to pay off the older guys. So they are discouraging withdrawal. And there is already delay in withdrawal. As new as this platform is. Look at my friend's YouTube video that he made about this platform. In the comment section below the video, which I'm showing on your screen right now, somebody is already complaining that, ah, uh -uh, Withdrawal is so slow. It is so slow so early because there is no trading, no real trading going on. Hello? There is no real trading going on. It's just about you bringing new people into the system, collecting their money, not at gunpoint though, collecting their money, giving them valueless tokens. I will just go and create my own now. I'm inspired. I want to create Victor Isibo Reviews token. Yes. I'll be offering you 10% returns per day. I mean, I'm more generous. 10% returns per day on Victor Isibo Reviews token. Valueless token. Uh -huh. Bring your USDT. And the next day, when you have 10% on top of your money, I'll tell you, don't withdraw your money. Oh. Hodu, hodu my token. Hodu my token. My token is the next Bitcoin. Don't withdraw your money. But if you must withdraw, you are insisting on withdrawing, then you have to wait. You have to wait oh, for newer people to come into the system. Uh -huh. Go and, if I go and look for people to come into the system, you see those Victor Sibor reviews tokens that you have gathered, sell it to them, collect the USDT from them. It, it is not robbery. Why you be thinking? Why will I be telling you to go and rob people? Did I give you a gun or, 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 a, or a knife or a weapon? Did I give you any weapon to go and rob with? Just tell people to come and join Quantum Exchange. Uh -huh. When they join, those tokens that you say you want to withdraw, you want me, the owner of Victor Sibor reviews token, to pay you, sell it to them. <laughs> it's buying and selling that people do in the marketplace now. Why are you asking funny questions? So, that is the end of my review on QTE token. The decision is yours if you want to join the platform. Give this video a like so that the YouTube algorithm will recommend it to more and more people. Share this video within your crypto community. And of course, please subscribe. And you guys too may count a punch in the comment section below. Till I see you in the next video, I remain Victor Isibo. I'm off. And here is my counterpunch. It's bye for now.